Good afternoon, traders. It is Friday, October 8th, 2021, and the U.S. stock market is closed. Um, we had a uh, good day today. Uh, pretty exciting, actually. And you're with the, with the Dow here, you can see what ha happened. We had a flat day in the Dow. Uh, so we had a big day on a f flat Dow day. You look at the range here compared with yesterday. You know, it was just minuscule. And I was kind of having a deja vu uh, feeling about this. And I went back historically, and I discovered on September 24th, last month, on a Friday, just like today, we had made $27,000. Um, and the Dow was also flat like this. So I don't think that, I'm sure that's a coincidence, not really a repeating pattern, but it's just kind of interesting to me. We had 20 positions coming in, and if you saw the video yesterday, you know I was scared to death about what was going to happen with those 20 uh, positions because we were uh, slightly negative, but the far majority of the trades we were holding were, were all negative. And in fact, uh, we uh, those 20 positions... Uh, 12 closed out negative this this morning um, and five of those 12 negative uh, positions closed out more than five thousand dollars negative so just four of the trades this morning closed out negative over twenty thousand dollars and then we still had a whole pile of other negative ones in fact, we had $36,000 in negative trades. However, we still finished closing out positive over $14,000 today. Well, how did we do that? Well, we were blessed uh, this morning with an outlier trade. Uh, just a fantastic trade. And that took our positive trades up to over fifty thousand dollars and so fifty thousand dollars minus thirty six comes out to positive just over fourteen thousand dollars in closed out trades so an outlier trade saved our butts on this friday morning i'm very thankful for that um and the, the the Dow, incidentally, if I didn't mention, officially closed negative nine points. Uh, practically no movement there. So about the only thing big that I... Oh, we got into... I'm sorry. I, we got into three new positions. Quiet day for our entries. One positive, two negative, and we're negative $2,800 going over the weekend into Monday. Uh, however, they have just one thing to talk about, but it was big. And so let me show you that now. This is, of course, and I showed you this yesterday. This is CEI, which is Camber Energy Incorporated. This is really an interesting trade. On Wednesday, uh, this thing had opened down and went a lot lower and in fact where it closed on Wednesday it closed at 90 cents it's a penny stock 90 cents is where this thing closed then yesterday the big gap up this thing jumps up and of course that triggered our buy the second hour and uh, closed very profitably See our 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 the number of uh, stock, uh, shares we purchased was based on the ninety cents. So we bought fifty thousand shares the second hour. 
So we had a lot of money on the close yesterday, but then it gaps up again. The gap up this morning was almost as big as the gap up here uh, yesterday, and uh, it pulled back quite a bit, but then it bounced up just for our exit there, and we got out of this thing with just shy of forty four thousand dollars in profit and the very high up here was about fifty thousand so this was a this was a minuscule pullback nothing like i'm used to getting on a big trade like this uh, we ended up getting forty four thousand dollars out of this thing and then it it basically craps out right after we got out so um in addition to being a genuine uh um a genuine outlier trade which we haven't really had a genuine outlier trade in a long time uh it was also what i call a perfect trade we basically got the the top of the move up here with almost forty four thousand dollars in profit so this this trade saved our butts today and made freaky friday a, a great day and i'm very happy about this listen you guys have a great weekend oh wait wait i got one more thing i want to announce i'm getting a lot of uh inquiries about the october portfolio putting out the october portfolio because i haven't done it yet and uh I'm going to tell you my thinking on this. I'm not sure a new portfolio is necessarily going to improve much for us, anything for us. If I thought I could get uh, the 2020 trades back, uh, I would do a new portfolio every other day. But uh, I, right now, I'm not sure a new portfolio is going to change much as far as performance. Uh, anyway, I, I want to at least give it next look at things next week before I change and I might even consider just keeping the same portfolio which was done last month and holding it and then doing a November portfolio and putting that out on Halloween I haven't made a decision on this but I will not be putting out an October portfolio this weekend Hey, you guys have a great one, and uh, I will be back here trading on Monday as usual.